welcome to another episode of the DJ Podcast. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be going over the basics of sidechain compression. The difference between compression and sidechain compression is that you are using an external signal, also referred to as a key or a trigger, as the level detection for the threshold. This is also known as ducking, which you've probably heard of before, and is also available on many DJ mixers that feature a microphone input. Let's take a look at how you can use sidechain compression inside of Ableton Live 8. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a compressor applied to the deck that you want to be compressed. We're going to go down to the plugin itself and select the sidechain toggle arrow, which will open up this panel here. You're then going to want to enable sidechaining and select the audio source that you want to have the threshold level detected from. In this case, it's audio 2, which I've set to be the external in for the microphone that I'm using to record this video. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing this track here. You can see that it's not detecting the threshold because it's not using the track as the level detection. It's using this channel, which currently does not have any signal running through it. Now if I arm the track for recording, and switch back here to my first track, you'll see that now the threshold is being detected from the microphone that I'm using to record this video. If I were to decrease the threshold, you'll see that now as I'm talking, the compressor is now reducing the gain as I am talking. If I wanted to, I could also add some equalization so for example, I could click this button here and toggle the sidechain EQ and adjust the frequency and the Q. I can use a sidechain EQ inside of the compressor to carve out some space for my voice to sit within the signal that's being compressed. That's it for this video tutorial. For more, check out thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.